So it is found that 59% of the candidates who set for the entrance examination to enter a boarding school pass all the subject. It is given that four people are randomly selected from the candidate and X represents the number of people who pass all the subject. So out of four, and X represents the number who is passed. So we can know that the number of people passed, it can be either 0, 1, 2, 3 or all four people passed the subject. Okay, construct a probability distribution. Okay, now to calculate probability distribution, so now we are talking about pass and fail. So it is binomial distribution. So when we have two options, so we are using this one. So this one, P, X is equal to R, because we know that X can be 0 up to 4. This one is N, C, R, which is P, R, Q, N minus R, which is P is success and this one is failure. This one, Q is opposite of P because we only have two options and P plus Q is equal to 1. So here, pass 59% over 100 is equal to 0 0.59. So this one is this. So this one is P. So Q is equal to 1 minus P, which is 1 minus 0 0.59 or 41. Q is equal to 1 minus P or 1 minus 0 0.59, so you get 0 0.41. So you can see that if pass is 59%, obviously fail is 0.41%. Now you can substitute inside the formula. So here, probability when x is equal to 0 is equal to, so you just key in s is the number of people, so we know number is 4. So for c, r is equal to this one, 0. So P, P is 0 0.59, P is what the event X is. So we know that X represents pass. So where is pass, right? Pass. So that means the probability of pass must be P. So this one is 0 0.59, where this one is 0, this one and this one is the same. And this one is 0 0.41, where the power is N minus R or 4 minus this one, 4 minus 0. So here you get 4. So here we get 0.0282. Px is equal to 1. So here 4c1. So you see here 4c1. This is r. And then this one is 0 0.59. So this one is equal to this one. And 0 0.41. So the power here is n minus r. Or just 4 minus 1. Which is equal to 3. So here's 0 0.1627. So Px is equal to. So Px is equal to 2 is equal to 4C2 0 0.59 power of 2. This one, the same. And 0 0.41, 4 minus 2 is 2. So here you are going to get 0 0.3511. So Px is equal to 3, which is equal to, this one is 4, 4C3, 4 0 0.593, 0 0.41. So here four minus three is 4 minus 3 is 1. So here, 0 0.3368. So this one is Px is equal to 4. 4C4, 4, 0 0.594, 0 0.41, 4 minus 4 is 0. So here we get 0 0.1212. So now, table, table must be x and y because we are going to plot a graph later on. So this one is x is equal to r and here is p, x is equal to r. So here when 0, x is equal to, so I just divide first, I afraid that this is, we don't have enough space. Okay, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? Because we only have 0 up to 4. So when 0, it is 0 0.0282. When 1, it is 0 0.1627. This one is 0 0.3511. 
0.3368 and this one is 0.1212 okay so here you take a look at your x so we know as exists only 0 up to 4 so you can just draw it so this one is s is equal to r or just r So this one, so here we know that your R is 0 up to 4, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. But you must consider your Y. So you see here, uh, you should see the minimum and maximum. So here the minimum is 0 0.02 and the maximum is 0 0.33. So you should plot a number which can fit in your graph. So I'm going to make it up to... 0 0.4 only which is 0 0.1 0 0.2 0 0.3 and this one is 0 0.4 this one is supposed to be here so it's supposed to be straight okay because my pen is hard for it to make straight so this one is the probability x is equal to r So I will show you the easier way to plot the graph. So I have this small number. So here we see here 10 small box. So 10 box is equal to 0 0.1. You see here for 10 box I mark 0 0.1. Which means for 1 box it is equal to 0 0.1 divided by 10 which is 0 0.01. So now when you have the value you just divide with uh, per one small box so you know how many box for you to plot. So this one you have 0 0.028. So we see here this one is a small scale 0 0.1 so this one we only take up to two significant figure because this one is 0 0.01 so up to two significant fig uh, up to two decimal point is okay so this one 0 0.028 so we just make it 0 0.03 so 0 0.03 we divide with uh, how, how what is the value for one small box which is 0 0.01 so here we get 3 so we just make 3 from 0 up to 3 box so you see this one is per box so 1 2 3 All right so i have 0 0.162 so i just take two decimal points 0 0.16 divided by 0 0.01 so i get 16 box so here is 16 box number one up to 16 box so the last box is 10 so another two, six so so you think this one okay? No, I think it is this one. Okay. Because the box is small, it's quite hard for me to see the box. Okay. So this one is none. 0 0.3511. So I just take 0 0.35 divided by 0 0.01. So I get 35 box. So here number 2, 35 box. So 10 box, 20 box, 30 box. So 35 box is the midpoint here. So 0 0.336. So this one is 0 0.34. You see, I just make it two decimal points. So this is 6. So it becomes 0 0.34 divided by 0 0.01. So I get 34 box. So up to here, 10, 20, 30, 34 box. So this one is... This one is 3 or 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, here. Right. And then 0 0.1212. So it's 0 0.12 divided by 0 0.01. So here I get 12 box. So number 4, it is 12 box. This is 10. So 2 above 10 is here. So you see here you have plot from 0 to 4. So you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we just connect it. So this one. 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 So you see here, sometimes you couldn't really see zero here. So you can actually put it here, which is 0 0.01, 0 0.1. So the same thing, you just move this one here so that this one, you can easily see this one without this line here. So you can see 1, 2, 3, 4.